What's going on, gamers? Today, we are going to go over how to join a Bedrock Minecraft server through Xbox and Nintendo Switch. Minecraft Bedrock comes with many benefits, with one of them being the ability to crossplay if Geyser is installed on the server. This means you can join a multiplayer Java world on multiple devices, including Xbox and Nintendo Switch. That being said, this process can be tedious and difficult to accomplish, since it involves you changing around console settings to successfully establish a connection. Before playing around with your console settings, you'll need to understand a few important aspects of the process. Starting with the first one, you'll be editing the domain name system, or DNS, IP address to help your connection. This table shows the possible addresses to use for this process, which should be noted for later on. Players using Xbox to join Bedrock servers will need to follow a specific configuration on their console. Remember, you'll be changing the DNS setting of the system. This involves you editing the IP address to one of the types in the table that we just went over. These changes won't interfere with any of your other games, but you can always revert the addresses if you want to. Open your Xbox settings and then click General and select the Network Settings option. Go to Advanced Settings and choose the DNS Settings option, and then press Manual. Here you can put in the primary IPv4 address that you chose from the list, and as for the secondary IPv4 DNS, enter 8.8.8 .8 or 1.1.1 for its field. Save these changes so the console can perform a connection test to confirm that it works. Now for Nintendo Switch, similar to Xbox, you're going to be editing the DNS settings of your system. Head towards your system settings from the home screen on your console, and then scroll down and select Internet, and click Internet Settings on the right. Wait for Searching Networks to stop, and then press your currently used one, and in the new area, click Change Settings, and switch DNS Settings to Manual. Go ahead and enter your desired address in for the primary DNS option, and then do the same for the secondary DNS, but use 8.8.8 .8 or 1.1.1. Once you're finished, click save on the right and you should be ready to go. Now, due to the possibility of DNS changes not working properly on the console, there is another way to join servers on Minecraft. This involves you downloading and using third-party applications on your mobile device. We highly recommend using Bedrock Together for iOS or Android for this task, since it's the most popular one on the market. It's completely free and it allows you to easily configure everything, which is pretty straightforward. After doing the DNS changes or using a third-party app, the process for joining a Bedrock server is the same regardless of the console used. Open your Minecraft application and click play from the main menu, and after that head towards the servers tab and join any featured server. Once you're in the game, click connect to a server from the new menu that appeared and then continue to enter your desired server address and port. Toggle the Add to Server List option and press Submit to begin playing on the server. Now, before we get started on the common issues, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our future videos. An extremely common issue for Bedrock servers is encountering a disconnect message about the world. There are multiple ways to resolve the situation depending on the setup. For example, crossplay servers might just need to update Geyser or Floodgate to fix it. Restarting the console or server, entering a world beforehand, or redoing the joining process are other viable options. If nothing seems to be working, then you can consider changing the DNS records on your console. We advise doing this for the secondary address, switching between 8.8.8 .8 and 1.1.1 .1 to see if that helps. Otherwise, choosing another primary IP might be the best method for this to work. Joining crossplay servers as a Bedrock user is a huge plus, and it makes it even better that you're able to join from devices like an Xbox or a Nintendo Switch. It can be a bit confusing at first, but once you finally get the process down, joining is a piece of cake, and you'll be playing with your friends in no time. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.